All right, y'all, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, I'm super pumped about today's video. We're continuing in our video series on aluminum home wiring. Now, what we're talking about primarily this week is aluminum branch circuits. So we're talking about 14 gauge, 12 gauge, and 10 gauge wiring. Now, we're not talking about electrical service wiring, which we are going to be talking about later in the week. But for right now, we're talking about electrical branch circuit wiring. So today we're going to learn about when they used it, how many homes approximately were, and why did we stop using it, and why did we start using it in the first place. So let's let's start there. Let's talk about when. So when did they use, uh, you know, aluminum wire in residential wiring. Well, it started in approximately 1965, you know, in the great search for a cheaper product, um, alternatives to copper, they came up with aluminum Romex style wiring. And it was used from approximately 1965 all the way into 1972, mid 70s. Some have seen it as late as 1977. So let's talk about why they stopped doing it. So they stopped doing it mainly because of all the things that we're going to be learning about tomorrow. The corrosive conditions, the dissimilar metals, the oxidation problems, the overheating, the soft metal. There are so many reasons why. But in between 1965 and 1972, 75, um, there were approximately 1 million homes in the United States. It was also used in Canada and in other places, but approximately 1 million homes uh, used uh, aluminum wiring as their branch circuit. So there is a good probability that you're going to run into it in your homeowning career or in your electrical career, your homeowning career, your homeowning, um, you know, lifespan or your electrical career. So the number one place that you're going to be able to find it is in the electrical panel. That's the number one place that you want to look. And you want to be careful if you are buying a home that your electrical inspector, uh, home inspector is pulling off the panel and looking inside there. I know that some of them, you know, may not do it. Always ask your home inspector, you know, what services do you provide? Are you checking the crawl space? Are you doing this? You know, some states it's not required, um, but you want to make sure that those things are being checked. And you definitely, definitely want to make sure that your uh, home inspector is taking off the panel cover. Now, just because there's aluminum wiring inside that panel doesn't mean it's necessarily dangerous. But if you're seeing aluminum branch circuits, that is going to be a red flag. So if you're seeing smaller gauge aluminum wire, that is going to be a red flag. Now, a couple other things that we're going to want to consider is that if we do find aluminum wiring in the panel, um, is it being ran to our water heater? Is it being ran to our dryer? Are they still using it actively for switches and receptacles? And, you know, what are those receptacles rated? So this is something you're going to want to have a qualified electrician come out and tell. Just because there's aluminum wire doesn't mean that it's necessarily dangerous, but there's so many different steps that we have to follow in order to make it safe. And we're actually going to talk about that the next few days, about the proper devices and alternative terminations that we can use. So I am the electrical code coach. And just to recap for today, they used aluminum wiring for branch circuits primarily from 1965 to about 1975. And the reason they used it is they were looking for a cheaper um, and also just an alternative to copper, um, you know, because aluminum is you know, so readily available uh, to us. And, you know, you can use it. It is less expensive. It is lighter. You know, there's so many benefits that, that they, it just seemed like the dream wire. But we found out very quickly that it was the nightmare wire. I am the Electrical Coach Coach. This is the Electricians in Action. Let's get to it. Hey, y'all, that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification bell button so you can get all of our newest videos. I'm so thankful that I got to be a part of your journey today. Let's get to it.